cigarette is a subtle piece of mechanical and thermodynamic engineering. It consists basically of a porous paper tube containing a loosely knit rod of organic material, that is tobacco, which will burn at a constant rate, producing enough heat to release its constituent compounds. A lot of research and development's work is concerned with cigarette technology, how the various elements interact when a cigarette is smoked. When you light a cigarette and puff, a whole sequence of events begins. You draw air through the burning cone, which rises to a temperature of 900 degrees centigrade. At the highest temperature, everything is burnt, but two centimeters away, the tobacco temperature is hardly above room temperature. At the lower temperatures, vapors are released producing aroma and taste. Between 250 and 400 degrees, less volatile substances are converted by a process called pyrolysis into vapors which mostly condense into tiny droplets. You see these as smoke. While traveling from the hot to the cool end, gases escape from the smoke through the paper and air is drawn in, mixing with the droplets and aromatic vapors to arrive at the tip as cool, mainstream smoke. At the end of the puff, the temperature of the burning cone falls back to about 600 degrees and the whole system ticks over, releasing side stream smoke, waiting for the process to be repeated.